With the predictions of energy demand growth nearing 50% by 2050, we need to come up with advanced technologies as a clean energy source to replace fossil fuels in the long term. Economists know that innovation really matters to an economy. We know that it's important getting to net zero and to address climate change. Geothermal is a very reliable source as the Earth is continually giving off heat. We can absolutely harness the heat beneath our feet to drive and support the energy transition. There's a shift towards electrification of things. We need to get that electricity from somewhere. Using technologies like geothermal, we can provide energy globally and reduce energy poverty. Economic prosperity over hundreds of years has been driven in large measure by how we can capture and use energy. If you think about the Industrial Revolution that took us out of relative poverty, it was because we harnessed the power of coal. So how humans manage to capture the energy around them and use it to produce richer societies has always been very important. There's a vast amount of energy all around us all the time that we can capture and start to use. Now some of those innovations will take longer than 10 years to come to fruition, but others are on the cusp. Geothermal energy has actually been tapped for centuries. We have proven that it works a long time ago. It's just how to take that energy and expand it to different locations and to make it more environmentally friendly. My name is Lynette Liston, and I'm a senior geologist with Ever Technologies, Inc. Ever is a scientific technology company that's working towards pushing beyond the boundaries of the traditional hydrogeothermal setup and making it accessible and scalable everywhere. Unlike traditional geothermal plays, we are less dependent on circulating large volumes of water. We have a more benign system where we're not introducing or removing any contaminants out of the rock at deeper, hotter depths. We don't use advanced geothermal processes such as fracking to generate our own permeability or any other forms that would cause seismicity. Ever is basically a huge radiator miles below the surface that absorbs heat via conduction and brings it to the surface that can be used for heating or producing power. I'm John Redfern and I'm the co-founder of Ever. Right now we've got two that are breaking ground and starting to be constructed. One in Bavaria and the other one in New Mexico, which will be the world's deepest and hottest directional geothermal well ever drilled. My name's Bailey Schwartz and I'm the director of North American Projects. Everloop is a closed loop geothermal system you basically build a heat exchanger, like a radiator underground. Cold water flows into one of the wells. As it travels through that radiator network of well bores, it's flowing at quite a low velocity, so it has a lot of time to pick up heat from the earth, because conduction is typically a slow process. On surface, the hot water can be used in a variety of different ways. You can either take the heat that would feed into a district heating network, Alternatively, you can use the heat to generate power. How deep we have to drill can really vary depending on geologically where we are and also who the end user is. For electricity projects, we'll try and target deeper, hotter temperatures. In New Mexico, we're looking at depths that are five to nine kilometers deep, and that will get you to 300 plus degrees C rock temperatures. We have a technique that we think will not only allow us to drill deep without melting all our equipment when it goes down, but also to drill faster. It solves a lot of the challenges that traditional geothermal energy has really been constrained by. Traditionally, our dependence on fossil fuels is based on our ability to have energy whenever we want it, whenever we need it at a certain reliable amount. And green energy has always been painted as more of an intermittent energy source where you have solar during the day, you have wind power when it's windy. And people need more reliability than that. There is this gap that needs to be filled. Geothermal can provide base load energy. It's really complementary to all the other sources that are available. And then when the sun goes down, we can ramp up an Everloop system, fill that gap, and really make sure that every hour of the day, the demand can be met. 
you can put an Everloop system in an area and bring energy to people that would not necessarily have access to a grid. The reason we can do that is because we don't need the input energy that's required to cycle the pumps. Once the thermal function is actioned, it will keep cycling on its own without the additional added power required. This can enable more energy security and energy independence to different nations, so they are not tied to fossil fuel production from other nations. There is no national or local or city or neighborhood independence without energy independence. By having local autonomy, you make it a better world, not just environmentally, but politically. There's a huge demand, there's a huge market, and there's so many benefits to this technology that are going to improve quality of life for people. We really are at a stage point where we could see a real renaissance in geothermal. So every town, every village, every country would locally have the energy source they wanted right under their own feet, right under the ground. We're developing cutting edge technology and every day pushing the boundaries to see close loop geothermal be a part of the global energy stack in the future. Once we've got to net zero, we'll be in a far more prosperous world. Yes, we'll be dealing with the climate impacts because we're basically running 20 years too late. But if we get this right, we're in for a good second half of the century. <laughs>